Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. All right. So, Toby, our oh. returning champion of chat, has uh, shown up again and is going to be running Faria against Brunhild. so yeah we'll see how this goes um if this is like the faria list that i played against in the last ols i was running no oh, no solarinos i'm gonna run i'm gonna go attend to the other chat all right man yeah, yeah. have a good all one right. so toby toby's already one of our patrons so he's in our discord right now so derek just went and jumped into one of the channels with him to go uh, talk about this game. If Toby is playing the deck that I'm familiar with, then this will be um, this will be pretty controlly, uh, um, but very focused on the Knights of the Round Table and the drain mechanic. So there's going to be a lot of draining like and a lot of life gaining. Um, I, like I will say the what was that, Pat? I feel like Faria is a weird thing to find a win con on right now. Yeah. I mean, like, these resonators were big, and they yeah. all had drain, but it's just with the stuff that we play right now, and oh my god, he hit it again. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Goodness gracious. So, Whitestone out the gate for Derek. Uh, I mean, one, one's fine. One's fine. As long as he hit, doesn't hit a second one, this will be hey, fine. Guys. Into uh, regalia. X. Oh. Nope. Donut, donut drone. drone. Past turn. So decided to energize for a donut drone. Wanted to leave the white open. Yep. For something. Quick cast Dallas. Yeah. Potentially. Uh, Just doesn't like donut drone in hand. So wants to trade it up for a draw card. Maybe. So hits the blackstone. That's good. Um is now Instead able to kind of play around for a fallen angel. didn't play the whispers of the angel oh <laughs> just went right into his turn left that white wheel open and did nothing Derek, with it. Please. so bouncing the four four in response to passing turns so that it stays in hand call stone Swing with a 2 2. Let the timer begin. Timer starts. Timer <laughs> starts. Let's go. You have 20 turns to live. 20 turns. 19 left. Let's go. Oh, man. I mean, it's not better than swinging a minor at oh. a base over and over then. <laughs> Dude, I mean, like. Nobody, nobody would ever question like a one drop four damage that just keeps poking you. It'll kill you eventually. So Excalibur coming in, gonna get a stranger draw card. Nothing else really to do, right? Probably. So Excalibur, when you're Faria, you get the two triggers off of Faria that says uh, you either draw a stranger at random. Uh, Destroy target rested resonator or draw card. Or you may pay zero to do judgment. So definitely just going to get a stranger draw card and pass the turn. Before recovery whispers. There it is. Oh no, it just extended the clock. Oh no. Oh no, now there's 23 turns. Shit. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Invitation. Invitation, just go get two fallen angels of fiery vengeance and a Satan. Then use your one to play the other fiery angel or a Layla if you got one. That's my guess. It's my guess. 
Ugh. So like playing the Fiery Angel or playing a Layla right now would actually feel kind of shitty. Hopefully it's a Layla. Ah, it's a Fiery Angel. Because like if he has the 7-7 seven, seven Stranger, if he has the 7-7 seven, seven Stranger that puts something back to the top of the deck at end of turn, like that would have been annoying. Uh, twin Snakes put it on yeah. top of the deck. Ugh. Top of deck, just top deck your 4-4. Four, four. That you don't... your draw for the next turn. So Sorry, the machines. Thing... Yeah. Oh, okay. So go in the machine route instead Straight of... Machine. Are we like trying to get Soko in grave? I mean, get Ishtar? I swear to God. I mean... <laughs> When on the stack. I think there's some justification to the idea of playing Faria with machines because of the ability to use Excalibur and like like Blade Arts to have spot removal while you're playing this like cur on curve body kind of game. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm with you, except Arthur and maintenance in a room deck like you know what i mean it's just like yeah like yeah, uh, yeah. that's like, the, like that's the trade-off yeah right? like and that's a huge trade-off like i don't know that it would definitely require like it, it would require some testing because i yeah, have for sure. no idea i think i, still, I think the I nice still... thing about the new set is that like we can just abandon skyfall right like we can just play four bewildering gaze instead yes yeah <laughs> like because now we just don't have to care about if we have a machine or not we just always have an instant speed one drop bounce spell yep but all right so two for like a sacrificial altar right now but so my qualm my yeah, like Guinevere's sitting at is that currently two, six? You know, uh she's a Ooh. Oh she's four, a four six. She's a four seven uh yeah, four six right now. Ooh. Big Yep, there's that sacred wave blade. Because it can hit additions. Wave blade good. I mean this just goes against the Dark Alice all day, every day. Yeah, but I think you're still okay with that. No, like we are never okay with that. No, like, I, and that's I mean, because yeah, like, but the Dark Alice, the Dark Alice won't be on live right now, right? It will have he'll have to pitch a spell and a stone right now to make the Dark Alice live. Otherwise, yeah. it's just a white one drop. Yeah, I guarantee you probably will. Watch this. Go, show it to me, Derek. I mean, apparently, show he it to me, Derek. his hand to me. I don't think he wants to pitch anything in this hand. Like, show it to me, Derek. Like, I don't think he wants to pitch any of the spells in this hand. Oh yeah. Ooh, didn't opted not to. Okay, so he's just gonna skull. Yeah. Me. So Sacks like the dark Alice. Sacks and that's kind of like Alice. that's kind of the thing right now. So like the only sculpting. So like since he's not in the sideboard, he's not playing the Athena package, right? So like he has his black blue for perfect Loki, if he absolutely wants at this point, right? So what else would we be sculpting for? Like his stones aren't boning him this time. Why right? has he got a discard again? Because it was at the end of. Uh... Oh, for hand size. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Holy fallen angels. There's a lot of them in there. Oh, well, apparently Derek has revealed his hand to me and not you. That is and I'm correct. I'm just looking at Derek's hand and I'm very just. Man. This doesn't look great. It for, doesn't for look machines? great. Uh, it doesn't look great for Derek. Oh, oh. You just said he doesn't want to pitch anything. That's like he has four spells in his hand that are all very good, but they are also very limited in their uses. So, see, like right real, here. Real, to real talk. Or, how no. much do I. Like, how good is Knight of the Round Table or, or like Castle of the Sky? Like, 
I, I mean, if the I format is slow enough, it's great. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I just don't think it's slow enough. I think right now in this match, it'll be fine. But um, yeah. my guess... I think in other matches, it's super slow. My guess is he probably plays Dark Alice. And Machines doesn't here. have another... Oh, goodness. What? No, it, I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, um, what did you ignore, think about? Ignore me. Yeah, ignore right. me. So like this my is where my brain was like my brain was like Arthur in the Nine of the Round Table. Go grab Lancelot. And I was like, wait a minute, Lancelot is Lancelot's just just a machine. machine. You're just the machine. Yep. So like, but, but that would have is... been good. That would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those situations but... where like whenever I see Guinevere and I play something like a machine corpse or I play something like an Arthur or something. Like, I know I'm a maintenance away from activating Guinevere if I have to, right? And so that would be some readjusting that I would have to do. Oh my goodness. You put a Santa hat? Oh my goodness, Steven. Yeah. Is that possible? Like, how did you do that? I want to do that. Is the channel points weird thing now? So if I, if I do that, and then what? You need channel points but broadcaster should have infinite channel points what do i do uh so why so why did we why did we tap out to make this machine core have eight counters on it ah uh, honestly was there a reason to do that because now we're getting bewildering charms and then it feels real bad yeah type in this yeah no that didn't work type in that if I type in that, yeah. you know, people learning about your Twitch chat while you're trying to be commentating. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm here. I'm sorry. But I, like, I don't. Uh, I don't. No, and I honestly, I don't, I don't as a point as a that, player, like, I wouldn't ever tap I myself kinda out. Think, and I kind of think that, like, dramaturgy is just a bad stone right now, right? Because you're just like never want to be Not tapping it down just stone. like i just don't think you want to be ever tapping it to give yourself a plus one plus one counter right now i mean i've like, always i've i've found uses for them in the past you know like to dodge any kind of removal that might be hitting you right out the gate or something along those lines yeah but know? in this format well i mean with perfect loki no right i <laughs> i think that you'd rather i think you'd rather have them be just even basic water stones so that they can like if you can get a Clockwork girl. Clockwork girl at the beginning. Oh, at least yeah, have blue yeah, green. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm with you. Right? I think, da I mean, I guess I can speak to the fact that, like, probably after next set, like, when we see Machina come down green blue, like, you just straight would play, you know, you'd probably play water stones instead. But also at that time, you'd have eight green blue stones because we'll get deep woods back. So, like, deep woods, Adarakia's Memoria, and then two blue stones. Woo. Yeah. But I think right now it's probably just better to just play Water Stones, just in case. Derek's on live with Five Color Will, thanks to the good old, the good old transmuter. We transmutin. God, speaking of next set, I just don't want to know what reprints we're getting. I'm gonna hate everything. It's gonna ha. be very interesting. <sighs> uh, I think like, because like, if we get space time anomaly. Oh my god. Is Please space time even good? Is, so, okay, so is space time even good now? Like, yeah. when it. I mean, space like, time says I don't get to play the game. No, but I, under, I understand. <laughs> but at the same time, like, it costs two. It doesn't kill anything by itself. And we're in a format where tapping out is bad. And it we have Dark other. Alice. And we. Yeah, it kills Dark Alice, but we have one cost cards that kill Dark Alice. And, like. Yeah, but it doesn't replace I, itself and it doesn't animate out of grave. Like, I think there are going to be plenty of uses for a black blue instant speed neg 5, even to attack. Like, even to attack, right? So, like, that's where all of our negs at are. I think it's going to follow the same. I think it's going to fall in the same line to me as Guinevere, where, like, Guinevere is good, but at the same time, it's not going to be, like, as good as it once was. So I think space time is going to be the same to me. I honestly, but me personally, like, we don't have enough remnant cards right now, like, to, oh, like, sure. really break Dark Alice. You know what I mean? Or Guinevere. Oh, like, yeah. Like, these are oh, yeah, free absolutely. pitches. These are free pitches. Like, you can just put this card in your grave and say, now I have a 10-card hand. 
and you have to play around these other things. Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So like now, now I will retract all of my statements if they're like, not only are we bringing space time back, but we've added the subtype that it's a mage art. I'll immediately, no. I'll be immediately no. like, okay, oh, cool. God. Stop that, <laughs> Jeremy. You getting? I, I I don't think that they would. I think I mean none of the reprints none of the reprints up to this far have been anything different than they initially were, right? Yeah. Like thunders oh, thunders awesome. not miraculously a blade art or nah, anything. Now nah, hold on, yeah. right, hold on. We just erendited an Ishtar trigger, which was gonna get a donut drone. I, I guess. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean you weren't using it for anything. You're forcing else. you're forcing him to tap out and then get punished. Like he paid four for a. He paid four for a ten ten that did nothing. That's just they permis to permissions. Lance a lot with uh, board wipe ready, I guess. And now he's gonna get Odin's judgment on Derek's turn, maybe. I mean, I don't see his hand, so. But yeah, no, I think I think space time is gonna be a fantastic card, and I just oh, I can't wait to bust, bust out my Japanese promo ones. Like I'll be the fr first in line to put them back into decks. But uh... like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be it's good. also, but it's it'll be interesting if it does see a reprint because it's also kind of cute for those people who like went after the memorial ones because yeah. like oh it's remember like oh cool you never got them before you just went hunting for the memorials that have the promo art on them now you can use them like that would be kind of cool right like yeah. that would be neat to me so we're going to attempt I mean... to double Why would you not what? wait? What? That was a. What? What? what, 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 what Hold on. What, 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 we misplayed there. We should have. If we were gonna sack it to Guinevere to put counters on itself before you do that, you burn three counters to kill the mana transmuter with Lancelot. Yeah, and then no, you that's, sack it. That's definitely what he would do. But that's a misplay. That is just a misplay. Yep. That would have been. Yeah. I don't think it really necessarily matters. No, nah, it, it would have been sacked to alter, keep... but like you're still like now you just didn't kill something that you could have killed. You know what I mean? Yep. Yarp. <sighs> Oops. That is what we call an execution error. I was told I couldn't do that. What? Couldn't do what, Toby? You couldn't. You were told that you couldn't kill mana transmuter. Is Toby in oh, the chat? Oh no! Just go ask him. Okay, Toby, I saw I saw you uh, posting about a a thing today on the rulings, right? Use Lance to remove the counters. No, so Lance's counter removal has to be three from a single source. And Gwen had and four on her. And it can be any of your resonators. It doesn't have to be Lance a lot, but it has to be three from a single source. So yeah. like you couldn't take two from one and one from another or anything along those lines. But all three from one source. So, like, Guinevere, absolutely. You could have taken three of those counters and, like, got and killed Mana Transmuter. So, before recovery, Power of Immortality on the Mana Transmuter. Makes so, sense to me. Just to swing with a 10... Maybe double produce some will, have some fun. I mean, this Satan's gonna have some counters. <laughs> That's Satan, exactly what it was for. Like, Satan is gonna, but exactly like, what, what, what are for. like, like there's no targets in your grave. So like. To search for a one drop. Dark Alice. Dallas. I'm getting it. Wait a minute. Dallas and Zalus. But why, why didn't we swing? How wrong? Why didn't we swing? Why don't you swing first? Why? Why? Why are we just giving away free damage? This is sequence sequencing mistakes. Like that was ten. We've talked. Let's go talk. Hold on. I gotta hold on. Let me go look up the episode of Ruler School where we talk about that. So, so the teachers' lounge, so I can go reference. <laughs> go go watch episode this of the teachers' lounge where we talk about these sequencing errors. Yeah, I mean, unless he just, like, doesn't even sack it to Mana Transmuter. Hold on. He pitched a Satan. 
Was it really? Misplay that funky music. That was the name that I gave that title. Is it really so that So he pitched to Satan, and now he's thinking about... Is he thinking about a stone? Because, like, he fucked up there, too. He didn't float any will. So... <laughs> Yes, episode 33 of the Teacher's Lounge wow. on Ruler School on YouTube. We'll talk, we talk about the different types of misplays, how to avoid them. So just sex, Dark Alice. So literally an altar to filter your hand for two and draw one. If the hand is that bad, sometimes you do that. I guess. The hand is that bad. Sometimes that's just what you need to do. Sack and Lila, Lila, to alter, ramp and a stone. Woof. Four cards in hand. Uh, still has freed from the altar. Still has Odin's judgment. So like, even though Derek hasn't done anything, like either has his opponent. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yep, that's why I'm like... Like him with an Odin's judgment still ready to go whenever. Like, this is very interesting. This is interesting. I gotta get a refill. I'm back. That's one of the things that I think is interesting about this format is it's very easy for decks to just sit and do nothing. But then it's about like, okay, if that's what you're doing, what... While you're doing nothing, what are you actually doing? You know what I mean? Like, what's... Is that that was a bad sentence, but I think it kind of made sense. <laughs> While you are doing nothing, what are you doing? But like, you, you know, like the like the like take the atom deck, right? Like while the atom deck might not necessarily be punching your face, mm -hmm. like we're still setting up for like having this perfectly sculpted hand. We're setting up Zeus Alice plays. We're setting up like Guinevere. We're setting up Kaguya. Like we're doing all this setup to like just be able to control the rest of the game. Whereas like. This perfect Loki deck, or sorry, this Brunhild deck, I when I see it sitting there doing nothing, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing outside of doing nothing. Does that make sense? Maybe I've just, I don't know, maybe I just haven't watched it enough. But that's just what it feels like to me. I'm... Oh, did he just go get Satan and just end the game? Yeah, I think he just I, I think I, he just got Satan and said, okay, we're done here. It was Alright, what I missed enough was happening. He went oh. Satan and he just go. Yeah, Satan came out. And I, I was saying um how part of me feels like I mean Satan came out and did what? Like we banish just had an immediate, cons we yeah, we just had like an immediate scoop after the banish really? scene, or after the, after the casting of Satan. Um, I was talking about how a lot of decks right now in the format feels like there's this real potential to just have them kind of like do those play lines that don't seem to really be like leading to anything. You just kind of are doing it for the sake of doing it. Um, but like there are certain decks that do that but then there are certain decks that even if that's what they're doing it's also having the like bonus effect of doing a lot of setup like we were talking about that i that line of like the um sacking to like playing power of immortality sacking it to to get um the dark alice so that we could just immediately sacrifice the dark alice so we have a better hand and but like, if Adam was trying to do a playline similar to lead to that, we'd also be, like, putting a Kaguya canceling grave and turning on Zeus Alice and, like, doing all these other extra things. For other things. Yeah, exactly. This idea of, like, are you doing it just to make your hand better or are you doing it to make your hand better and also giving yourself a lot of gas for later? Yeah, like, if he was pitching Fallen Angels with it, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, that would be really good. Better. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm with you like that. I mean, it looked like a whole lot of nothing, but then knowing Derek's deck though, like, like it was, it was actually very reminiscent of Esper. Yeah. It's just like, you don't know that you've lost until you've lost. 
You know what I mean? Like the whole time you're just like, well, you're not doing anything, and I'm not doing anything, and ah, you wiped me. And now you have more resources. The game's over. All of a sudden, you're just like, oh well, things happen. Jeez, double Satan. Oh, we're just going. He's just going. Okay. How did we get? How did we get two Satans removed? Because you can pay black or red. Oh, you just pay both. Yep. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. While you're searching your deck. Yeah, no, yeah, you can yeah, do no, both. totally. You, have to look for it. you can just like hard just, remove both it, of them. Just invitation to not do anything other than this. I'm gonna put these two yeah. here, put these two here, and we're done. Jeez. We're done. Yep. I mean, and if Satan is the card that wins you the game, why not have both of them out of your out of your deck and accessible immediately? I didn't know Satan is what won, won you the game here. But, I don't know uh, if it is either, but apparently Derek thinks it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, Derek knows that, like, this, like, completely tapped out on two means nothing. So, like, right. it's, it's just a safe setup move like you were talking about. Doesn't have to interact with anything. He knows. All these, about the setups. He's not going to do anything super threatening on two, and he's not going to do anything that he needs to interact with on two, so... Yep, this is very interesting. So now we'll see what happens when Derek doesn't hit white. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you go. Know, <laughs> there it is. Uh, well, there's a lot of Nine stones, no at. white. Come on. <laughs> there's a lot of white that I'm looking at right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at a lot of white and blue. That's uh, that's a light. That's a light of blue. That's probably that's a freed from the altar. Yep. If you're uh, saying he's got a white hand, then he's going to get some black cards. <laughs> going for a mana transmuter. Yep. <laughs> we need access to something else. I need help. And play that Layla in his hand. Layla. Oh. Swing with the fallen angel and past turn. <laughs> oh, not even swinging. Damn, he he wants that fourth fallen angel. We just want to sit on a bajillion fallen angels, so we just never have to deal with one drops. So I okay. love what That's came out of Europe on on this one was just the cheeky like, I'll fallen angel my own Layla, like. Oh That's... yeah, that was, I mean we were doing that before. But I, like... I the first time I saw it was out of Europe. Like, they were the first time I ever saw it. And I was just like, that's cheeky. <laughs> Sometimes you just need the will, man. Yeah, I mean, it's it's wonderful. You know, it's like, all right, well, in response, some kind of power of immortality and kill my own thing for 200 life. It's not even fair. Man, part of me wants to take, like, the Layla Fallen Angel Satan shell and just put it in, like, Lucifer or something and then put Shock T in it and Sword Arts. Just have fun. How much did he pay for the... Oh, he did it with... Uh, I got you. Ugh. Alert response. Why try to kill... Why or, uh, Why try to kill the Guinevere in response to the Night Castle? Because then it gets to be a 3-5? Ah, you're right. I forgot that thing just also does 1-1. One, one. Yep. Oh, what are we doing? Search your deck for a light... Put in the field or gain a thousand doing, draw a card. Doing, what or... are we doing? Oh. Well, why though? Oh, he probably thinks this does a lot more than. In oh, rest a resonator and gain 400? Is that. Yeah, gain plus four, plus four. So he's going to go and search for another. <sighs> like, you just do this one more time. Right? Yeah. And that was not a good use of three will. Yeah, I mean, I would have just, like, gone for another Excalibur or something. I don't know. Next turn, gone for another Excalibur. 
Just she's 900. Stuff. Why is she 900? Shouldn't be. She gains plus four, plus four. I mean, from the awakening. She will when it resolves. Yeah, but she's still a four four right but now. But it's not resolved. Or she's still a two four. So well, like, she's like Sacred two, Spirit hasn't she's a resolved. She's five right now. She's no, a three five right shouldn't now. Shouldn't be. Knight, knight, the knight of the castle is still in the chase. Oh, oh, castle still in the chase. Yeah, My everything's bad. still in the chase. So it's just one more angel. So. Yep, sequencing. Nothing was in effect, and a lot of will. But yeah, so. Uh, Castle was in the field, and the 4-4 four, four never resolved yet, so it's just another 200 life, another two counters on Satan, and go from there. Uh, the just, just letting the uh, Layla, like, not going for Layla shenanigans there, I think that's interesting. Um, I would have probably tried to filter a little bit to make sure I hit my white source, you know what yeah, I mean? I would have been like, alright, power my Layla. Yeah. Uh, going for the black. Yeah. That's all right, Toby. It's been a while. You're a little rusty, eh? Derek just kind of has a full grip right now. I don't, I don't see that there's a lot of situations here where uh, machines are gonna put any kind of a threat down that Derek just doesn't have an answer for. Oh, not a, not on a, not on an empty board like this. No, unfortunately, it's just not gonna do anything. Even if you, even if you wanted it to, it's not going to. So, paying the life, uh, going to produce black. What? Power and immortality. Power something? And sack. Oh. Yeah. Sack it to what? Uh. Oh. He's. <laughs> uh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. That's pretty crazy. We have another Awakened Wave Blade. Oh. We have... Yeah. So another Awakened Wave Blade. We're getting two strangers. Two or of six them. Six will. Two strangers. Dark Alice Trigger still happens. Uh, After Mana Transmitter is gone. Yep. And he sacks the Layla. Yep. I think he just draws two, like he sacks the Layla and sacks the Fallen Angel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I sack the Fallen Angel. Yeah, yeah I, I probably sack the Fallen sack, Angel. You can sack a stone for perfect, but I don't think you do that right now. Because, yeah. to search oh my goodness he's gonna pay all this life to kill his mana transmuter he, okay so he's gonna kill his mana transmuter he's gonna kill his mana transmuter with his fallen angels yep <laughs> yep pay just so that it triggers. doesn't just so that it actually dies yeah he said power was okay yep so ah uh, yeah so that's gonna get to come back yep and then the original target of the two blades just is gone so even though the still same card he still gets the two get gets two strangers yep but... yep he'll still get two strangers uh but mana transmuter is around so eh. yep and now we are tapped out tapped out and, and dark alice trigger tapped out tapped out 
Dark Alice trigger. Draw. Draw, four. Draw. All it's four of the two. fiery angels. <gasps> Pichalela does nothing. And a stemma? Oh, pitched the stemma. Huh. Uh, well, Derek's immediately lost. Derek concedes. Yep. He, he, he discarded. <sighs> Discarded the demo. Can't he's got, do it. He's got no faith. Game's over. Clearly, Toby knows something. Derek knows something we don't about Toby's deck. <laughs> it's just over. We haven't joked about that? Derek's. What the? What? Oh, actually, that's a good card. Which card? Card Loki is a good card. Udgard? Yeah. yeah. Oh, does he have that in his hand now? Yeah. Oh, I think as a one, I think as a one or two of that card is actually pretty good based on the build. You just hard cast? No, don't hard cast with Garlart right now. <laughs> you, he can, but you don't. <laughs> hard casting giants is fine. Swinging for six. Sometimes a giant just like God. ends games. Ugh, these know? satans are over here yeah. on like. Ugh. Satans are very scary. Yeah, they are. I want him to get to seven counters and pitch the guard Loki and then grab it back off of a Satan. I mean, I'm trying to think what else. So, like, his mana production <laughs> will get him there, but, like, does he have any other forms of life? Could also game? just Judgment Brunhild and do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He does have two white. Oh, wait, no, I have a mana chest here. Uh... Play Excalibur. It's the Kaiba! Kaiba! Alright, so playing two, doing an Excalibur. Ah, not doing an Excalibur. Or, oh, yep, we're going to search for an Excalibur. So, definitely f Judgment. Judgment for free. Yep. And get a Stranger. What are we doing? I don't know Destroying why target just rested the resonator. I to pay for that, but. Okay. Destroying target rested resonator. What are we doing? Drawing a stranger? What do you think? Judgment and pop it, yeah. I'd probably Judgment pop it. Kill. Yeah. Kill it. So Toby definitely on the ropes here. Something with that two floating will, hopefully. That'll do. Two floating will. Does he have two? Yeah, he does have. No, he doesn't have two floating will. He, he does. Had to... Oh, cause he did. He used three of it for the one. What did he? He hasn't used the two for anything, he has, has he? He used two floating. Hasn't thought about it. Two floating. Toby. Top. This is. It's okay. This is why we learn. This is how we learn. Yeah. By telling him. Tell me. Yeah. Tell <laughs> Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> Tell him to not do that again. Don't do that shit. Perfect Loki wipes the J in this deck, right? 
Uh, oh, never mind the Uganda. <laughs> the Utgard. Did yeah, you just say Uganda? Stop. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Uganda Loki. Stop. Ut Utgard. Ut Utgard. Ut Utgard. Goodness gracious. All right, so we used the floating for an undying. Turn up to three. So yeah, gonna force the barrier play here. Oh, never mind. Not just hard casting life severing blades because you're that controlly of a control deck. You're just like, yeah, yeah three mana removal. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So with the God Art giving eternal. That's uh that's that's a that's a pretty good god art. Um so there's definitely like when I've it played against Eternal these... plus four plus four and drain. Mm -hmm. So like if I was Derek, what I would have actually done is at the end of his turn, I'd have just done the Loki play and made him do it then. Just because that way like he's used his drain eternal god art and is officially tap tapped out going into my turn right oh sure or he lets faria die those are his only two options and i've used one card to do it so like then i would go into my turn recover do whatever the hell i wanted right um and then like all of a sudden just like a, a satan to get the loki or do whatever you gotta do right but yeah, that would have been the play line I would have went for. I don't know what else he has in his hand, though. Like, almost every other turn, he just draws something I'm not expecting because I didn't, I didn't look at this list beforehand. Well, he's also sideboarded, so... Where does Derek start making his move? Like he does have to answer this far. Like Derek has successfully like halfway killed himself, which is which is impressive. <laughs> um. So we know he has 800 life in the rune deck that he can just gain whenever he wants, but like, still, he's just given 18 life to, to give 18 life right. all right so first satan is coming in uh dark alice pitched and set up the perfect loki play so perfect loki is going to enter to neg six five six how does this work that whole enter effect for satan goes off before anything else happens so He's going to get a three, a two, and a one, leaving four cards in his grave for the perfect Loki trigger. Three, three. Opted not to go for perfect Loki. So a Stemma trigger, plus five, minus five. I'm missing something, but I think I think Derek left himself very open this turn. To like a Holy Nova? I mean to anything? Like he's he's drawn one, two at least three strangers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three strangers. He got one off of a trigger. Uh, played one, so he's got one left in hand. 
Uh, I mean, but there's plenty of removal. Everything that he has on the field is just a resonator, so on declare block, like, shit can get out of the way. Um, this is, this is interesting, but I mean, he, ugh, very interesting. Interesting. So, 14-14, declare block on a stemma. So there was no tricky shenanigans. Cause like, what are you killing a J ruler with for two will? A bloody break. Yep. I was about. I was like, do you want my actual answer or? I mean, but like in. Uh, neurolithotep. Yeah, I mean, but like, I'm talking like in this <laughs> in this deck. Yep. Like, yep. I don't think of anything. Oh, so there's the Sacred Wave Blade. To remove. Remove Man Transmuter. And please pay to uh, pay for a red. Derek. Derek. What's he going to pay? Like, why, why does he want red? He has a raise in hand. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, that would have... No, because you can't raise and revive a Satan. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't Sacred Wave played the other Satan. Well, I mean, it was just like deciding to bounce the thing that the twin swords was being blocked by instead of what I mean, Varia going for the board control here. But I feel like overall, he won't control this board. I don't know. This is interesting. Right oh, so that was end of turn, leaving up three will, getting a mana transmuter, now has the seven. He has eight will open. No, now has the seven on uh, Satan. Oh, yeah. And you can get three card Loki. You can actually just use Utgard Loki, kill the Aria, and then get it back and kill the White Wizard. Nah, he's can... white. We can got art still. Uh, you right. Uh, you, uh, my bad. Uh, you, you right. right. Uh, my bad. But yeah, I mean, right now, though, this is, uh, I mean, he can just do his own little push right here. Did, what got the counters from White Wizard? Or... Did it get like air indicted? I got air indicted. Okay. Drain? I think it does have yeah. drain. White Wizard has drain. Why does it have drain? Why don't you have drain? Because I don't need drain. <laughs> Alright. Everybody, everybody, everybody needs drain. Played three wave blades. <laughs> well, when you got him, you got him. So. It is a good card. Down to 16. I'll give the. Is that one rune uh, contract with something to untap your Satan and kill him? Nah. -uh. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, 
Uh, okay. So, now we have the altar. But... Uh, we still have plenty of will, so we can't get real greedy. This is like turn six, right? No, dude, this is like turn... We're up at like turn. We're up at like turn twelve. This is hold on. It's been a long. No it's way. been a long time. Like Dang. I said, sometimes sometimes you just do all these cool flashy things, and uh, then you're like, oh, wait, I didn't actually do anything. Game two's My been only twenty eight minutes, so yeah. No, this is say This is like turn. <laughs> well, hold on. There's only been all right. So Brunhild's called a stone every time, except for one Layla trigger. So yeah. So like, is this two, like four, seven? six, seven. So yeah, this is going into turn six or seven for Tobe. So sack the Dark Alice. What's a three drop aiming for here? Or are we going Please, for the perfect I can Loki? Go for another Dark Alice, pitch the uh, Uncharted Loki, and go grab another Satan. Oh goodness, no! He <laughs> went for another one drop. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Go over to Dallas. Play styles, man. Play yeah. styles. Everybody's different. Yeah, man. It's like a high school musical. I've been like spot like, on pump up thing. Everybody's special. <laughs> In your own way. No bullying. <laughs> 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 So Derek playing this, uh, see, like I don't know. For me, like I feel like Derek's showing off. That's, that's I don't know. Right I don't know. Like he's really playing this in the Esper control kind of style here. Like I'm just like gonna draw DM. cards. I'm a whiteboards, and that's like that's my deck. <laughs> draw wipe. Draw, <laughs> draw wipe. Cause I'm draw white. Cause I'm draw white. Cause I'm draw white. And we're going to judgment. Wait a minute. Are we paying with Brune with Manichaeus meter to chat? Oh wait, no. Oh. Oh, this is his turn. Yeah. I thought he passed his turn. No. What did I miss? I thought, There's Zalus on board. Dude, all right, so, like, this whole play line now is, like, way oh, different. Why is there a Zalus on board? No, like, I know, I, like, I get it now. I just, I didn't, I was like, what the hell? I thought he had passed his turn. Like, I thought that's why all this altar stuff was happening end of turn, and I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. But, like, yeah, now the altar for Dallas, now Dallas not for filtering, but Dallas for, like, mana. Like, that makes sense. Hard cast and Alice from hand. Because we play one side one. Pay two for another altar. And just really tapping out here. So. So are we swinging this Alice into? Swing Alice into face? Yeah. Sure, because 28 to 4 don't die is he not called a stone is that this cheeky stuff nope. going on up here he has not called a stone that's cheeky i swear if he passes turn people calling man a stone, like those are next level players that'll spend an entire like two-thirds of their turn and just like play it on like they never called a stone but know that they've got that one will and screw up your calculations because you don't remember they didn't call a stone Except he passes turn and doesn't remember he does. So, <laughs> so, so, so you thought you were playing like a genius, and really, <laughs> we went big brain play. We, we went to big brain galaxy brain, and then we cycled all the way back. It's not brain. We cycled it all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> I that that deserves an all caps and game chat. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> just explaining why waiting 10 minutes in your turn before you tap and call a stone is a great play <laughs> just that's called over commenting or over commentating ladies and gentlemen <laughs> it's trying to make up something that isn't real <laughs> you're like 
The turn's taking so long, we need to explain something. I, I, I mean, I, I've seen it. I've seen it done before, though, like, where people will play out their turn and kind of mask Steven. I've seen Steven do it a couple times. Um, and then, like, like all of a sudden, when you think they're at, like, two will for the rest of their turn, they're just like, all right, tap, call stone. You're like, fuck, I forgot you didn't do that yet. And then, like, your whole what are they doing during their turn just, like, thrown out the window. All right. I wish I could shake Brunhild right now. Swinging five. Oh, Draining five. Or Gaining pumping. Gaining a thousand life. Oh, nope. We're resting it in plus pouring in response. Plus pouring uh, everything, right? Yeah. J slash resonators you control get plus four, plus four. So he's resting the Dallas. He only sides one Zalus, right? So, like, he's tapped out. His only answer... This is a lot of damage. His only answer for this is, like, a perfect Loki, but, like, <laughs> if Toby has Erendite in hand, like, that's GG, right? Like, that's, this is damage. That's, that's GG. This is a lot of damage. <laughs> It's nine, ten, yeah, nineteen. Oh, Derek. Uh, that's. Oh, Derek. Thirty-three. Yeah, that's thirty-three damage on board with. Like Blake. whatever he's gonna get is gonna get erundited. I, I feel it in my loins. There's an erundite <laughs> in that hand. I know it. Use alter. Go get something with an inner effect. Get stabbed with an erundite. <laughs> Like Excalibur uh, well, in one hand and Erendite in the other. Still didn't use Excalibur for Awakening. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Don't worry about that. Shh, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm don't, don't see the, reason. don't see the man behind the curtain. No, like seriously, I'm thinking about this. Like, I does it does it matter? Like, what the hell can you do? Sorry, doing math. <laughs> Can't. Like, unless he has he his goes and gets a Floki, if he awakened Erendite, it's dead. Why? Oh, he... but like it doesn't he matter. Couldn't awaken it. Okay, never mind. You couldn't awaken it and awaken it. Uh uh. Okay, okay, okay. What 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 does Derek have? I I, I can't see it right now. Uh, Derek has an Erendite, Utgard a Loki, and Blade Faith. Derek can't do shit. Nope. <laughs> and Toby's listening. He's going to gain... Alright, so he's got 800 life he can gain. He's going to gain 900... He's... Uh, White Wizard is going to gain uh, 900 life here. Hold on. There's no Going way. for a two. I'm gonna slam my head into this desk. Hold on. There's. I mean, if he has Erendite in hand, like, that's. Sack Alter, go get a two drop. But, like, uh, what's his other thing? Zeus's Grand Lightning. Yeah, like, there's. He can gain 800 life. He can put himself at 36. And, yeah, Erendite. Now, Aaron my loins Aaron. are never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> Please tell me you have a sacred wave blade for the block of the purple Loki. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, that thing hit because there was no blocks on that. So that's 900. That's 900 life. Well, so actually, there's... he still had a chance to clear a block on the white, on the white wizard, I think. Because he rested it before bloggers could be a Oh, yeah. Uh, this is game two of this one. Game two of the gauntlet, and then game two of this round. Jai! Ooh! Uh, why? For blocking. Why? Dad. The Fari is lethal. 
Oh wait, hold on. The no, the Fari is, is not 14. lethal. It can get up no, it's 18. not a 14. It's an 18 right now, and it can get up to a 22. Oh, it is a, it is an 18 right yep. now. Yep, it can get up to a 22. I forgot. Excalibur just gives it plus four, plus four. Yeah. Uh, so. That's just happening, and we're gonna. Got our Faria and swing for game. No, because it's not game. He's got 800 life in the rune deck. Oh, does he play? Is he playing Whispers? Yeah, he's he's still playing Whispers. Oh, you can't rip. side out of it. Okay. Yep. Hopefully he remembers he can pay for a... Hopefully he remembers he can mana transmuter right now. He can gain five, actually. Yeah, because of the mana transmuter, yeah. For 22. Yeah, for 22. But so yeah, he, he, would he can survive. So 16 up to... Oh, wait, no, no, no. How is my math wrong there? No, it's 22. 3 will puts him at 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. That's where my math was. So yeah, he can still yeah. live. Yeah, just double checking. Twenty three. Wait. Uh, it's not twenty three. It's twenty two. It's twenty two. It's twenty two. Four plus four plus four is. <laughs> so yeah. Just a whispers here, and he'll be alive with two. And tapped out. So. And swing with Alice for game. Uh, no, because <laughs> he just drained for 22. You right, though. Yeah, yeah. So he's up at 35. So it's now 35 to 2. Yeah. So, I mean, the clap clapback's going to be pretty severe here, but, like, essentially the board should be controlled. There should be no more reach out of Faria. So Derek should win this at two life. Um, Cause what'll happen is Zeus Alice will swing into Faria. Uh, oh wait, fuck, no, you gotta get rid of Excalibur. Oh, man. Uh, no, he's got the Uganda Loki in here, the, you, 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 whatever, the Loki discard. Um, so the Loki discard will take care here, of Faria. Uh, Derek, Derek wins. Yeah, Derek, Derek wins this 100% with two life. Um, but yeah, because there shouldn't be any burst left in this, except for like um. Uh, Nothing Dumbo. in blue has swiftness right now. Shut up. Huh? Nothing in blue has swiftness right now. Shut except up. for a Matoko. Shut up. Matoko. No. Huh? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. How many strangers has he played? I got five strangers left in deck, and I see one, two, three. This boy's got two strangers in hand. Just gotta figure out a way to get him a talk uh, into the grave. No, why? Ah, fuck. Is he just swinging into it to get Yeah, he's just swinging into it for no reason. Probably doesn't remember. It's a 14 14. It's a 14 14. The 14 14. <laughs> Derek. Derek. Um, this game shit uh, that was a waste he's like yeah i have excalibur <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so like Look. i'm trying to figure out like hardcaster guard loki no five yes no that's five two four five yeah, satan To Damn it. Damn animate it. an Estema, Layla, and a Dark Alice. And a perfect Loki. A ah, okay, so okay. the perfect Loki Ten just to wipe. To so now it's a wipe. Now it's a wipe. Ooh, god, that is a board. I really wanted him to just use. So Layla, draw. 
<laughs> discard. Wow. Yep, that's a that's a game. Just scoop that's up. a huge Satan. Holy Nova, dude! Holy Nova. <laughs> Holy Nova. Holy Nova. A wipe and draw. Cause I'm all white. Cause I'm all white. Cause I'm all white. Holy Nova is four uh, and an that extra was gross. four to get a stranger to field. Or is it four and three? Is it four and four? Uh, do what? Holy Nova has the yeah eight four eight. and four and four. I think four it is four. eight. Yeah, Stuart did that to somebody once. I watched it. It was eight <laughs> will. I was like, I was like, what the uh, hell are you playing for eight will? You got the deck. Uh, so. Holy Nova. Holy Nova. Holy Nova. One more bounce spell. One more bounce spell is all he needed. Didn't need the god art, he needed a bounce spell. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> oh, he did. Now he can draw two cards, he can draw into a Holy Nova. And still play it. Come on! Yep. Holy Nova! <laughs> Holy Nova! Holy you know Nova. I mean, well, except for you know Zeus Alice. Oh, uh, right, the Zalus lives and kills him. Yep. No, it doesn't kill him. I mean, it doesn't kill him, but it kills him. Kills him eventually. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. He. He gone. Oh, poor man. Scoop. Toby, you really got to use your Excalibur, man. Oh, Baba Tunde. I is. I is. My goodness, no, there's no. a hand of... He did have a bounce. Did he draw that? No, he didn't draw that. Yeah, it looks like he did. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Whoa. hold on. Oh. oh, Hold on, let's think about this. There were options here. Derek. I, I played that for like... Hold don't, on, don't, don't. there's... Derek. Hold on, hold on. He had an Undane in hand. Okay, and, and only... bounce what? Non J slash resonators, you're right. Yeah. Bewildering, I'm assuming he drew. Yeah, probably. Uh, did he draw a second Here. Vivian? No. Okay, because like. Uh, yes, he drew the second Vivian. Looks like. So, what's up, Patrick? Interesting. Yeah, I, there was. Toby. So, Toby, did, we, did you have both honest, Vivians uh, in hand? I'm not, I'm not feeling the best right now. Um, I'm starting to come down with the cold. And there, was a, there was a lot of misplays that I had. I started going for... I saw red, and I was like, oh, I can get lethal this turn. And he was holding up three, and I was like, if I go for lethal, you can actually just play the thing that just gains a thousand and draws a card. And that wouldn't feel good. And yeah, then... I really wanted you to... And then he like, played that card, but it did exactly. 400 and tapped yeah. something down. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, really and then I forgot that the card... Utgard in your hand, and then use Satan to get Utgard from Grave. See, those are, those are all things that I really wanted to do. But like, my my brain's not at a hundred percent. I'll I'll admit. Dude, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, no, it's it's all good. It's all good. We're seems working, like it seems like the through. gauntlet always takes its toll and like. No, no, no. This was this, this was literally this morning. Um, I like woke up and I coughed and then I could like feel the the uh, uh what do you call it? it. The, the, I could feel you could feel the tingle in the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I didn't know how this day is gonna go. Like you probably then, like, woke up like fine and everything, and you're like in the mirror brushing like, your teeth, you and like you're like happy, oh, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. you're like today's gonna be a great day, and it was just oh. No, this you was stared this at was yourself in the mirror. Up. This was literally like wake up. The arm goes off. Wake up. Cough. Fuck. Because we, we just knew. We just knew it was not gonna be a fun day. You're like this is a Friday. You ain't gonna yeah, ruin it. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, I was like, ah, oh, dude, this is perfect. We'll play some Gauntlet. I'm gonna get this interview over and done with. And I coughed, and I was like, this is gonna be a shitty day. <laughs> coughed, and I was like, man, I'm going back to bed. I really <laughs> wanted to. Like right now, I, I can feel my joints aching. Is but it? No, no. There was there was uh, quite a few plays that um, yeah. I felt 
could have been a lot better. Um, we had a Blackstone turn one, so yeah, we had that did. going for us. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I felt that felt a lot better. But yeah, Toby, you're fine, dude. Like it's a, it's it's fine. It's a total learning experience. So like, hopefully, oh, you yeah, were able sure. to learn a couple things. And if you did, then it wasn't for naught. You know what I mean? All right, Derek. Well, are you fit to continue? Oh man, I feel like I'm at that. Uh, like you're at the halfway credits. point. <laughs> I feel like the, I'm at the credits where you just lost that Super Smash Bros. And like continue. And you're about oh. to play like uh, somebody that topped worlds. So oh, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll give it our best. Oh no, we'll power, we're power through it. We should we should be alright. Yeah. Yeah. Give yeah, her the, like three more games. Give, give her the old college try. You got two more. Oh shit. You got Steven <laughs> on Perfect Loki, and then you've got uh, Dylan on Melgus. So the Melgus one will go pretty all fast, right. probably. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do it to right, it. Uh, Good luck. Steven, whoop his ass. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. I gotta get a refill.